Hello and congratulations on all the hard work that you've been putting in learning all about sound waves and wave properties. I'm about to share with you one of my favorite physical science demonstrations ever and see if you can explain the mystery of the singing wine glasses. If you'd like to follow along and try this out on your own, that's great. You'll just need a few things and most importantly, some parent permission before you start to use their precious wine glasses for a scientific investigation. As always, be careful, wear some safety glasses, and enjoy the investigation. Did you hear the glasses singing? What's going on? Why did each glass sound differently? Let's keep exploring. Did you hear that? Not only can we get the glasses to sing, but we can add water and change the pitch. What is going on here? Sometimes it helps to take a look from a different angle. Let's look down on the glass 
and see if we can't notice something that maybe can give us a clue as to what's going on with our singing glasses. For a final look, we can use our technology and slow things down and take a very close look to finalize our explanations and explain how we're able to get our glasses to sing. So what's going on here? When you rub your finger on the edge of the glass, and actually adding vinegar helps with that a little bit, you're causing that glass to vibrate. Each glass has a unique frequency called the resonant frequency that it vibrates. As you know, the frequency determines the pitch of the sound that we hear. You can actually change the loudness of the sound by adjusting the amount of energy that you transfer to the edge of the glass by applying more or less pressure. So why does the addition of water change the pitch of the sound that we hear? Well, first of all, adding water really helps us see what's going on because as that glass vibrates, we can see that the water vibrates as well. This means that some of the energy that's transferred to the edge of the glass is actually transferred to the water. This causes the frequency of the sound wave that's created that you perceive to go down. And we know that when the frequency changes, the pitch changes. What's really cool is you can create a big instrument called a glass harmonica by tuning glasses to the notes of a keyboard. Now that you've developed your final explanation using what you knew, what you observed, and some scientific information, show what you know. Let's see if you can answer these questions about this really cool phenomenon of the singing wine glasses. Now that you're an expert 
at the singing wine glasses, maybe you could put on a little performance like this. Enjoy the show.